Today's video is a fun one. We are decorating for Christmas. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video. I had so much fun putting this together. I'm gonna take you through step by step how I did this, some problems that came up, and I will pop back in and let you know a few things so I have some tips and tricks for you. I'm sorry about the voice. I am still sort of sick. I'm recovering, I'm feeling a lot better, but I've been really sick. I did all the honey, all the whiskey, everything, cough syrup before I came on here, so hopefully my voice won't give out on me as we go through this video. Also, keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be some sneak peeks of some of the things from the advent calendar. Next week I'm going to do a full unboxing so you can find out what's in it if you want to, or of course you can keep it a surprise, but um, just be on the lookout. You might see some things in this video. I'm gonna let you watch and I will pop back in if I have some things to tell you. We are using the Hooting Pirate Christmas Planner and you can get this at the link in the description below. I have a free class for anyone who buys this year's planner and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but I thought I'd give you a heads up. This planner is a great way to keep you organized for Christmas. I wasn't really thinking clearly when I decided to use this green paper. I love this paper so much I just didn't even bother to look at the other side. So the other side is a big mess because I, co I cut the cards weird. So I decided to cover it up with this red piece. I didn't want it to go all the way to the spine because I didn't want it to hinder it folding. But in hindsight I would have covered the other three sides of the page but that's okay. Here you get a little sneak peek of the My Dream Christmas workbook that's included in the planner. And you can also buy this planner for yourself. And anyone who buys this planner or the upgrade, the 2021 add-on if they bought the 2020 planner, will get a free pass to an online class that I am doing to help you plan your Christmas. So we're going through the planner together so that you can plan your best Christmas. There's more details in the description below, but it is an online class, it'll be live, you'll be able to ask me questions and we're gonna go through the planner together. Note self, Kara, round your corners before you start to decorate the edges of your pages. This was a nightmare to try to get this corner rounded. I messed up the edge of the trim, but it all worked out in the end, but it would have been a lot easier if I just rounded the corners first.
I love adding Baker's Twine to the spine of my Christmas planners. I think I do it almost every year. But what I also usually do is sew up the planner on my sewing machine, but my daughter bought mine. It's in her bedroom and I was really too lazy, if I'm being honest, to go up and get it. So I just tied it together and that's my spine. I do have a video on different ways that you can do the spine of these types of notebooks or your Christmas planner or whatever. There's actually two. There's one where I'm sewing it, I'm putting it together, and there's another one, there's a no-sew version. So I will put the links to those in the description below. Oh, and don't mind the wacko way that I've rolled up my sleeves. They're getting in the way. Here's a helpful hint. If you don't know if your pen will write on a certain sticker, whether it'll smear or not, make a little scribble on the sticker sheet outside of where a sticker would be, let that dry, and then test that. It's the same paper as your sticker, so you'll be able to know whether your sticker will take your pen or not. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And like I said before, next week is an unboxing of the advent calendar, so you're not going to want to miss that. So make sure you're subscribed to have the notifications turned on and you can get your advent calendar in the description below. I would act fast because they are almost gone.
another tip from the trenches. If you have a package of stickers that have two sheets, what I'll often do is I will either tape them back to back together, or if they have a backing paper like this one does, I will tape them to the paper so that they will stay together and they don't get lost in my mounds of stickers that I have. And I have too many stickers, yeah. There you have it, I hope you like it. I really, really like how that turned out. And this too, I had so much fun. Like I was just, just piling on the stuff. And this little guy is cute too. I was just piling on and I don't know, it all just came together so well. And this was a spark of genius, if I do say so myself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because next week we are doing the unboxing of the advent calendar and you don't wanna miss that unless you wanna keep it a surprise. In that case, Put the notifications on, add it to your watch later list, and then come back later and watch it after. You can subscribe here by clicking on my little face. Here are two more videos that I think you will like. If you made it this far, leave me the Santa Claus emoji in the comments below. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.